Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're looking at the long-awaited ceramic coating by Meguiar's. Now Meguiar's has been teasing us for a while now about re finally releasing a coating in our ceramic coating, I should say, in the U.S. And it finally has come in the form of this. This is the Meguiar's Hybrid Paint Coating System. Uh, this kit or this box is going to set you back about 50 bucks. $49.99, at least at the time of this recording via Amazon. So in this video, it's gonna be a first look. I'm gonna show you exactly what's in the box, and then we're gonna apply it and see what the water behavior is like. Is it more of a sheeter? Is it more of a beater? And what to expect from this ceramic coating from Meguiar. So all that and more coming up in this video. So for the packaging and what comes in the box, as you can see, it's a definitely a retail ready uh, box situation. Part of their hybrid line, this is the hybrid paint coating, comes with this True Care cross-linking technology. As we've seen with Meguiar's Turtle Wax and now even Ethos uh, with their graphene, everyone's coming up with their own technology term. Uh, anyway, uh, the directions talks about how uh, it's a feat of modern chemistry, blending the best attributes of traditional ceramic paint coatings with the advantages of their proprietary hybrid polyxylazine technology. The result, their most chemical resistant and durable paint protection formula to date. It's incredibly simple to apply. So if we open up the box, we will have a microfiber applicator. We're gonna have the M122. This is their surface prep, just an alcohol or an IPA. You're actually gonna have the six ounce bottle of the hybrid paint coating aerosol. And then you're gonna have two microfiber towels and this little pamphlet uh, on, again, how to apply it. it. says, do not expose vehicle to moisture for 24 hours, which is interesting because it's different than it says 12 hours on the back here. So little discrepancy there, not a big deal. I'm gonna apply it, wait 24 hours, and then we'll do a water beating test. Unlike fast finish, the hybrid paint coating has a seven day full cure. Uh, so we can't put it up against any products. Uh, we can't torture test it for at least seven days. So today, uh, I've actually already applied it on this panel, but I'll run through the steps. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, got to let it cure for, I guess, 24 hours, not 12, like the back says. And then we will see what the water behavior looks like. So as far as the prep is concerned, on this side of the panel, I have uh, polished it out. I actually used the Turtle Wax um, uh, one and done compound to remove any old uh, waxes, sealants, or whatever may have been on there. And then I'll use the surface prep to wipe down the panel. Again, just to remove any uh, oils or polishing residue is really the point of this to make sure you get the best adhesion on the coating. Uh, if you have had uh, paint protection previously on it, uh, like an old wax or an old sealant, it may not be enough to just um, use that prep only. You may actually want to have to compound some stuff off. So we will take their applicator that's pretty big, spray it directly on, and then it says to apply like a traditional coating does where you want to overlap 50%. So we'll go one way like this and it instantly starts to rainbow. Make sure with the cross hatch that you're getting great coverage and full coverage, but a very, very, very easy coating to apply. And it doesn't smell bad, which is very nice. So it says to work a three by three section at a time and dwell up to one minute before you actually wipe it off. So we'll give it one minute to kind of set up. So you may not be picking up the rainbow effect on camera from that angle, but in person it's rainbowing all over the place. So, uh, which is cool to see. Now that it's been up to a minute, just simply wipe it off. And I'm using the towels that they gave, the applicator that they gave. So. It is a whole kit that is kind of, uh, you don't have to buy anything extra other than a compound or a polish if you don't have it. And it immediately makes the surface incredibly slick underneath the towel. Just flip the towel over to remove any streaks, but 
goes on and comes off incredibly easy. Like I said, I actually applied this yesterday, 24 hours ago, so we can really go straight into the water test. That application there was technically the second. So let's get the hose out, get some water going and see what the water behavior looks like. Damn beads though. <laughs> so as you can see, a very heavy beater. The water gets off pretty good. Not the best we've seen, but definitely on par. Let's do the water again. I mean, great beating, great beating, sheeting on there. Yeah, for the application and ease of use, you really can't beat that. All right, so what do you think about the new Meguiar's ceramic coating? I will say I don't love, not just with Meguiar's, but with any brand when they start comparing or, or dumbing down professional results. I really wish they would change up that lingo, not just Meguiar's, but any brand, that professional level, the professional ceramic coating, all that. But more importantly, what I wanna hear from you in the comments below is what products do you wanna see paired up against this? Uh, it could be a Meguiar's product, it could be another brand's product. I have a few ideas myself of other Meguiar's products that I wanna put it up against. Uh, but again, that seven day cure time is kind of getting in the way a little bit. But uh, leave a comment below what product you would like to see this compared to. And on your way down, don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. See ya.